better. Hmm. Hello guys, this will be a short Battlefront 2 guide video for Luke Skywalker. So let's start right away. First of all, it's important to mention, Luke has a very fast swing speed and with the right star card he also deals a lot of damage. So on lightsaber combat, you should always try to get behind your enemies and spam the hits in his back. This can be done with a simple dash attack, or you can use the saber rush ability to get behind them by turning around during the ability. So you are fixed towards your enemy and can start hitting right away. Luke's jump is also very fast and high, so he can make good jump attacks to jump behind and hit your enemy in the air. This is pretty useful to finish off fleeing enemies who jump away from you. Luke's fast swing speed also makes parrying, or I call it ghost hits, very easy. I made a video about that, but in short, you basically just have to hit the enemy right after you block one of his attacks. So now, let's come to some tips about fighting troopers. The most are pretty obvious, but I wanted to mention this anyway. Well, Luke's ability combinations are very effective to clear out rooms or a bunch of people in general. Luke can also use the force push while he is in mid-air, and also in every direction, not just in the one he's looking. If you have a bunch of people before you, I recommend to dash around and not just standing there holding the block, because there are a lot of explosives in the game, dealing them damage through block. This way you are just harder to hit. This comes in very handy when you want to regenerate your health. So now, as a last point, I want to talk about star cards. For heroes vs villains in Hero Showdown, I recommend Tensify, so you can deal more damage after some kills. And also one-hit troopers, Jedi Reflexes, so you have one more Saber Rush, and Jedi Fighter, so you have 35% more stamina, which is very useful in lightsaber combat. For Galactic Assault, Co-op or Capital Supremacy, I also use Intensify and Jedi Reflexes, but I changed Jedi Fighter to Extended Push Reach. There will be star card loadouts for this in a future update too. So, that's all the tips I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more amazing Battlefront 2 gameplay, best ofs and tips and tricks.